Hey, what's up, guys? All right, now we are going to be covering unstoppable domains step by step. So a few things that we're going to do is, of course, after creating an account, hopefully using my link in the video description, I do greatly appreciate it and any support. We can go right here after creating an account and you're going to go and click feature guide. All right. So I have it pulled up right here and a few things that we're going to walk through because this feature guide was made for a purpose. I want you guys to utilize it. Now, the only downside is that these videos were created and I will be playing these again. This is a free course. But I want to narrate over them because there's just music and I feel like it would be helpful to better understand what you're actually doing or what you're watching. So what we'll go over, of course, you guys already know what a blockchain domain is. You know how to search for one. I'm assuming you've already purchased your name, just like mine is KevinCage.Crypto. And of course, go over what is MetaMask. I'm assuming you guys have followed the video steps that I've already shown you. So hopefully you don't have any issues. Remember, MetaMask is Web3. You can connect other wallets as well as an example. Um, Keep in mind when you get this option, Web3, so we have MetaMask, and then Wallet Connect will allow us to connect to maybe other mobile wallets, such as Trust Wallet, which is another option. So that's right here. If you utilize that, awesome. But for this video tutorial, we're strictly going to be sticking with MetaMask. So we're going to talk about connecting the wallets, claiming your specific domain, how to add actual crypto addresses to these. So for example, if you have John Doe.crypto, how do you add a Bitcoin address, an Ethereum address, and an XRP address? So when your friend sends you XRP or Bitcoin or Ethereum to John Doe.crypto, you receive it. That's what's most important about Unstoppable Domains. And keep in mind, it goes far beyond just essentially connecting all of your domains and making it easier, kind of like an email address for money. But it's also a decentralized and hack-proof website if you guys ever decide to utilize that feature in the future. Okay, so just to kind of show you for fun, we're right here on Brave Browser. I'm going to type in a gentleman that has a domain a website that we know of. He's obviously, um, I think he's worth a billion dollars plus. His name is Tim Draper. So Tim Draper dot crypto. So this is his crypto domain. So you can send him cryptocurrency, whatever crypto wallets he's chosen. Again, it supports over 50 crypto wallets. I'm assuming he's basically integrated at least the top you know, five most popular cryptos. So if you sent him XRP, he would receive it at this address. So what we're going to do is Tim Draper.crypto. And I do have my unstoppable domains extension as I've talked about what was or which is important. We're gonna hit enter. And boom, decentralized website, Tim Draper designed it right here, social media talking about all of this. And this is not centralized. This is not on a single server. Nobody can take down this website except Tim. That is, again, the power in the hands of the people. Just wanted to touch on that. This is just another cool thing. If you guys are a programmer or you like to design websites, this potentially could be huge. Now, there's very few competitors in the space. Yes, I know Unstoppable Domains has been around for a little while. And yes, we're still early. And yes, they're still on ERC-20 utilizing Ethereum's blockchain. But we never know how quickly things can change as well. It's about interoperability, the Internet of Value. Um, so, you know, don't count any of this out and I'm excited to watch what Unstoppable Domains is working on in the future. So what we care about, let's get over it before I start ranting and making like a typical video. Let's do the steps now. So as I said, when you're on Unstoppable Domains website, you're going to click up here, go to the feature guide. All right. I'm going to click here to get it out of the way and let's just start at the top nice and slow and we'll kind of speed through the things that we already know. Okay, so first off, talking about what is a blockchain domain, you can watch this video talking about the importance of it. I'm assuming you guys all know how to search for a domain, maybe your name, for example, or a username, or maybe something that you want to sell in the future. A lot of people are doing what people did, you know, back in the day with the internet in domain squatting, trying to claim domains like pets.crypto, just like owning pets.com back in the day and selling it for plenty of money. Fun fact, somebody did claim the name sex.crypto, that domain, and it did sell for roughly $90,000. Okay, so um, I will also do a video as well just showing you how you can list your domains for sale if you're curious in doing so. It seems like a lot of people are doing it, and at the very least, most people are selling them for you know half an Ethereum. So that's good money right there. That's $200. So anything's possible. We'll see. All right. So search for a domain. You guys can search it right here, $40.crypto. Um, for this example, we're not doing Zillica.zil. I love Zillica, but we're just going to do .crypto for this example. Um, you can see if they're available or not. You're going to purchase the domain. Um, kind of speed through this. So I'm, I'm assuming you guys know how to buy something, um, whether you use you know PayPal, credit card, etc. Once you get all that. Remember, MetaMask is exactly what we were showing, talking about your seed phrase, not showing it, deep dive steps, and there's troubleshooting as well. This is key. Remember, after adding these extensions, it is key to refresh your browser. And what we showed last time, remember, let's just go right here. 
we're going to go to settings and this is crucial when you have metamask in brave browser extension and i'm just going to show you one more time we're gonna and then literally a few scroll down right because i just wanted to show you again right here under extensions metamask so we want this to make sure it's under metamask for the web3 provider for d apps because on unstoppable domains when we look for the wallet to connect to your domain name we want it to be metamask okay so we'll exit out of that and so we're back here metamask just talking about troubleshooting if you guys follow these steps you should have no issue whatsoever all right next connecting the wallet so let's actually talk about all of this all right so first things first we're going to talk about adding the actual wallet so in this video tutorial just listen up so we're going to go starting off notice they go to the top left account settings now you need to add a wallet this person already has a few wallets listed but for example let's pretend that you don't have a single wallet there well we have our metamask so let's connect our ethereum wallet and as i advised i want you guys to have at least five to ten dollars on that metamask ethereum wallet um, you can get the address i know you guys know how to send hopefully cryptocurrency to said wallet um, if not hopefully a simple google search will be able to assist you so we're going to add wallet and now notice web3 for metamask every time it's metamask it is web3 and we already changed the extension for brave browser if you do wallet connect that is more so for some other cold storage wallets for example we have trust wallet which is a mobile wallet you can utilize that as well but for this example we're just going to be sticking with wallet connect okay or uh web3 excuse me so you're going to click web3 you're going to accept this request send the code by email kind of like two-factor authentication authentication Get your code via email copy and paste that sucker put it in confirm and so remember you're going to want to have a balance though and notice we're signing the transaction the signature we're confirming this over the network that this is in fact you signing 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 loading and boom okay so we have added one wallet now for example next we're going to be claiming the crypto okay so after adding that we're going to go to claim the crypto and now follow these steps so you have your crypto or your crypto domain but now you want to claim it and make sure it's yours so right here top left we're going to go to my domains and notice here's all the domains that this person owns now they all have managed that means that they've already claimed these when you first buy your crypto you're not going to have this option it's going to show basically the gear and the manage will not be there so watch we're gonna go right here notice unclaimed so when it's unclaimed you want to click that and make sure that you claim this cryptocurrency before you can connect it and utilize it so claim crypto and when i say cryptocurrency i mean domain send the code by email get the code paste that in just like last time confirm this is in fact you and connect notice web3 wallet by ethereum to claim your domain so now let's connect it click connect understand yes this is the domain make sure that this ethereum address is in fact yours and specifically the address that you want that you just added beforehand that is all linked with your metamask okay confirm and now it's the claim process has started it will be pending you can just go back to domains let it pend maybe it takes you know five ten minutes still pending right notice just keep refreshing give it some time maybe walk away you can see the transaction details if you'd like success and notice you can see right in the string the label and that's actually your domain you don't need to look into that unless you really want to just get a little granular notice completed and now your domain has been completed okay so now you've officially claimed your domain Next, what we'll do, come down and we'll notice that it has the manage option. So in the next clip, we're gonna actually show you guys how to add the cryptocurrencies to this. You're gonna have to go to that specific domain and then add specific cryptocurrency addresses such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP to that wallet. So when someone sends you XRP to my domain name .crypto or John Doe crypto, you receive it. So we'll see what they're doing. Go into the manage tab. This is all under my domains. And here's the spot where you can add your actual cryptocurrency wallet. So I'm just assuming that you guys already have your wallet addresses for this example, and you can add additional currencies since XRP is not listed here. And right here, the owner, this is the Ethereum address with MetaMask. So you're going to want to copy this and paste it into Ethereum as well if you want to use that specific address, which I recommend. Okay, so notice 
You can also transfer your domain name if you wanted to give it away to somebody. Um, just an ex as an example, if I had somebody's Ethereum address and they wanted me or I wanted to gift it to them or even sell it to them, I would literally paste their Ethereum address that they gave me and I would transfer it to them. So then when they sign into Unstoppable Domains or even create an Unstoppable Domains account, they, they can go about the process and actually claim this domain because it is connected to their ETH address. And then also the website, if you guys wanted to choose a template and launch this as well on IPFS. So feel free to look into the feature guide if you guys are looking to do this. For the extent of this video, I just want to show you guys how to claim your domain connected to your wallet so you can actually start utilizing it today. All right, so now let's do the next clip. All right, so now we're going to do add the cryptocurrency addresses. This is just a minute and 30 seconds, so pay close attention. Top left, we're going to go to my domains. Now we've successfully added a wallet. We've claimed the specific domain, and now we're able to manage it, correct? So now we're going to scroll down to the domain of your choice that you want to add cryptocurrency addresses to, and it's going to be mydomainname.crypto, or for example, it could be johndoe.crypto. Click Manage. Now we are the owner. This is your Ethereum address, okay? And now we have no addresses currently added, so you have to add any of these addresses. For example, if you don't have a Zillica address inputted, if somebody sends you 10 Zillica to John Doe.crypto, it will just bounce back. You will not receive anything. Um, and you know, the owner will just get their cryptocurrency back. So it has to make sure that this is in place and all connected and you are actually connected to MetaMask successfully. So select additional currency. You can add ADA, again, Algo, XRP, whatever you want. Right, just showing you that functionality. For example, we're just gonna paste Bitcoin into here. And then also copy that, because that is the Ethereum address of MetaMask. So we're just gonna copy that one as well. We're gonna paste it into that guy. Notice you have to save changes to confirm. After saving, I'd recommend maybe uh, potentially after all of this too, just refreshing your page consistently, specifically for any extensions if you are changing the setting. And now notice when you click save changes, we are using MetaMask, right? So which do we use for the accessing the Ethereum wallet? Web3, always Web3 for MetaMask. If you're using Trust Wallet, you'll use Wallet Connect. So we will click Web3. MetaMask will ask us to actually confirm with a signature that this is in fact us. So we just click sign. It'll just pop up if you have the MetaMask extension in the previous video. Sign it again, and it is pending, as you can see right here. So it may take a little time. If uh, the Ethereum network is running a little slow, um, it could take you know a little bit of time, so just be patient. Also, just for clarification, so you guys are not confused, I just call dApps and dApps. I use that term interchangeably. And then also, when I was calling Trust Wallet and some other wallets cold storage, that is my apology. I'm used to referencing Ledger Nano's S's and X's and things of that nature. What I'm really referring to is just anything, not even a hot wallet, just anything where you can custody your funds instead of just an exchange wallet. So my apologies. You can watch it pending. You can watch the information on it if you want to you know, be all about it and focused on it. If not, you can just step away for a few minutes, see the transaction hash information, watching it update in real time, success. So now we can come here. You can also refresh the page completed and boom. So notice updated records. You've successfully added those, the Bitcoin and Ethereum address to this specific domain. So you're good to go. I recommend testing it out with another cold storage wallet. So, or even just having a friend send very small amounts to you. All right. I did the same thing with, uh, you know, I did Trust Wallet, I did MetaMask, I played with a few different wallets. So you can go to My Domains, scroll down to your My Domain name, click Manage, and now you can see these cryptocurrency addresses have been, you know, are staying. If they do not stay, it means that you did not do it correctly. So make sure that when you come check on it, that these are the correct addresses. And you can always add some as you go. Easy enough? All right, next, let's see. Now I wanna show you just a little example of utilizing the domain name. I'm sure many of you have seen this, but again, just wanted to show you this. So paying my domain name. So this, I think this is from Trust Wallet, the mobile application. So if you guys wanna download this as well, it is you know super simple to use. You get a little passphrase, you can store that just like MetaMask. And I get it, if you guys don't wanna have 80 different exchanges and account logins, you don't wanna have 80 different passphrases and private keys to worry about, I completely get that. But for me, I'm excited to take part because I know how big this space is going to be. And I'm certainly not going to be complaining because the barrier to entry might be annoying now, but when it's easy, it's gonna to be too late and everyone will be here. So I wanna, again, attack now. So check this out. 
sending ETH, and instead of putting that 0x7, that long serial number code and making sure it's correct, they can now just send Ethereum to my domain name dot crypto. How easy is that? Simplifying it just like an email address for money instantaneously. Choose the amount of ETH. So they're literally sending just under $2 of Ethereum to this person. Confirming. Wait, I want to see that network fee. Eh, not as bad as I thought. All right. Max total. And you just send it. And now notice, you can see who it's from. My domain dot crypto my domain name dot crypto that's the actual address and this is the eth address that it picked up and that's the exact address of metamask and it is the exact address that you connected and attached to this domain All right hopefully that makes sense and sent so hopefully that wasn't annoying for you guys hopefully it helped a little bit the best advice I can do or give you guys is just to go through this feature guide it was made for a reason hopefully the narration helped clarify some of it and really 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 advise you can always talk to support here in the bottom right of the website you can ask them questions they'll typically refer you to the feature guide as well but i've had some stupid questions in the past and they helped me and i was like oops i didn't see that and i troubleshooted in the past and fixed it right up so just wanted to show that hopefully that was helpful and now let me do another video and i will show you how to list your domains if you're looking to sell them on the open market